So, does anyone know what Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo, Adobe, Living Social, and Evernote have in common? Well, last year they all had between 250,000 and 50 million accounts compromised. That's a lot of accounts compromised. So, last year there were an estimated 740 million records exposed. These include credit card numbers, social security numbers, email addresses, login credentials, etc. And so we have created this project to help prevent this from happening in the future. 2013 was a record year for accounts exposed. Now, many of those accounts that were breached involved teenagers. Um, we know that teenagers have a lot of uh, online accounts these days um, because over 95% of teens are online, and that, that is for the United States. Over 95% of teens in the U.S. are online. And smartphone usage is also up from the year before. 37% of teens in the U.S. now have smartphones. Um, that's gone up from the year before. So let's talk about what's gone on this week in the news a little bit. Has anyone seen this news story? Maybe a few of you have. So do you have a question or you just, you saw it? Okay. So yeah, this happened on between Sunday and Monday. A girl in the Netherlands, a 14-year-old girl on Sunday, posted um, this tweet to Twitter. Sorry, it's the top one. It says, hello, my name's Ibrahim and I'm from Afghanistan. I'm part of Al-Qaeda. And on June 1st, I'm going to do something really big. Bye. Now, a lot of us would probably just blow this off and think it's not... It, no, it doesn't look that serious, but American Airlines takes their security very seriously. And this was their response. Sarah, we take these threats very seriously. Your IP address and details will be forwarded to security and the FBI. Now, they did notify the authorities. And on Monday in the Netherlands, this girl was arrested. And this goes to show how important it is to be very conscious of what you're posting online. Nothing is anonymous. So 55% of teens, again, this is US data, say that they give little or no thought to the consequences of posting something online. Now, that number really surprised me. I thought, surely people are thinking about what they're posting online. And while 49% um, of parents might think that their kids know what they're doing online, fewer than a third of teens agree. Now, with around 25 million teens in the US, that's like 8 million teens that aren't really thinking about what they're doing. They, they have vocalized that they are not comfortable with everything they post online. 